Hi guys, and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Sorry I've not posted it for a while, but uh, we're in lockdown and most of my fisheries are outside of the uh, county I live in. But anyway, I thought I'd do my top flies that I've used during 2020. I've got in a region of about 1,200 in two um, competition boxes. But these are what I like and it's what I use. And I hope they're of use to you. Please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And thanks very much for watching. The black pulling buzzer, um, I used this early in the season, mainly on a, a floating line, nice long leader, single fly, cast it out into the ripples, and you can draw it back nice and slowly, or you can do a figure of eight, or strip it. Myself, did a nice figure of eight, and in some cases just let the wind take it, and it was very productive. Um, I started using this for about an hour and a half midday in this particular area and I was just pulling them out for fun. It's only about size 12. Um, the tail gets a bit manked up after a while so I probably used two uh, in this short one and a half hour session but the fish loved it hit into it literally within 30 seconds of it being in the water. I might have been a bit of an advantage because as you can see the wind's blowing in that direction right to left and I think it might have corralled the fish together and uh, as soon as it went over them, it was only a couple of inches under the surface, as soon as it were there they were in on, and on it. But no, I had some really good times with this fly. Another one of my favourites, was how, which was introduced to by a friend of mine, Bill, the yellow egg. Now you can free line it, floating line, nice long leader, throw it out and just let it go through the water. But on this occasion and on other occasions of my videos, I've put it underneath a bung, I strike indicator. And it was brilliant. It was only about 12 inches under, sometimes say 36 inch, but it wasn't deep. And once I got an area where the fish were, put it out and just let the bung drift. Don't have to draw on it or anything like that. And it was brilliant. And I've used it on a number of occasions. And on this day, again, I was pulling them out for fun. Um, not used it for a while. I might start again in the February, March when I go back out. But yeah, yellow egg under a bung. White egg works quite well as well. But uh, no, good little fly this. The next fly was introduced to me by Ander, the owner of Pennine Trout Fishery. He said, red apt's bloodworm in the corner, nice long leader, let it drop out just under the surface and strip it back really fast. And within two hours, or oh, a two hour session at this area here where I am. I hit about 20 fish, landed 14 or 15 of them. There is a video on the channel of the whole um, time I fished it in that area, not just one clip. Uh, I do apologise about my arm being in the way. This is when I had a GoPro, but I'd mounted it on my chest rather than on my head. But yeah, you can let this fall through the water as well on a static line. But everyone says strip it back. Either way, strip it back. Or let it drift, just a slight figure of eight once in a while. Very productive fly, and as a count of some big fish at Pennine. Brown Apps Bloodworm. Only used it a few times, but to great success. Similar to the Red Apps Bloodworm, you can strip it back figure of eight it, let it drop through the water column. It's just as good as the red apps bloodworm. Similar fishing tactics. On this occasion, when I was using it, I was just letting it sink through the water layers. And on this occasion, it got me a nice six pound fish. Can't go wrong with it. You can even fish them under a bung if you wish, if you believe that the fish are holding at about three or four foot, rather than letting the fly run through and missing them. You want to hold it static, put it under a bung, 
but brown apps blood work. Love it. Bloodworm buzzer with breathers. Always fish them under a bung, about 12, 24 inch down. And just let it drift around. In this case, the wind was blowing in my favour towards me. All I had to do was take up the slack line. And it was only a matter of a minute per cast that a fish took it. And on one occasion, I think I had a black buzzer on with breathers, about 12 inch down. Fish took it. And the fish went absolutely mental. It was out of the water, all over the place. And it was a fair sized fish. I never got to land it because literally after its third jump, it snapped me. It looked like it had been electrocuted when I, <laughs> when I hooked into it. It just went absolutely mental. But buzzers, to keep them at that depth that you want, be it two foot, four foot, or whatever you believe they are on that particular day, Sight indicator, i.e. a bung, you can't go wrong. It holds it in that position, on that feeding level that the fish are under the water. And in this case, this was quite a decent fish, about three and a half pound. One of about seven or eight that I caught at this particular session. But no, buzzers, brilliant. Anyway, that's some of my favourite flies that have caught me fish over the uh, 2020 season. Uh, I'm probably not going to get out fishing for the next... A uh, couple of months because one I work in education um, and it's taking a lot of my time up and actually my wife works on a COVID ward so when she's got time off I like to spend a bit of time with her because it does get her down but I appreciate everything she does so all of you guys keep safe and um, I'll see you in the new year thanks very much for watching and please subscribe